Oh my goodness, I wish I knew this website ages ago. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here then hi, my name is Miss Paris and I'm a newly qualified primary school teacher here in the UK. Today I wanted to give you a video that is slightly different but on the same time is still extremely useful for training teachers but it can also apply to any postgraduate course and undergraduate course. It is about how to get da -da -da -da, your essential reading list for cheap get cheap textbooks. I'm seeing people all over Facebook panicking about their essential reading list. Do I actually have to buy it? It's gonna cost me how much? Does anyone have any to sell? And I'm here thinking, you poor things, I've been there, I've been in the stress and I've looked at it and thought, uh, uh, what do you do? So, without further ado, I want to give you tips on how to get those textbooks for cheaper or how to avoid paying at all. So if this is a video that you're like, oh, thank goodness somebody told me, please give it a like down below and please consider subscribing before you leave this video. So without further ado, let me get on to my first point. I've taken a screenshot from somebody that posted for help on a Facebook group and they said, I've just attached my reading list below. Um, does anyone have something that they're willing to sell? And I'm going to use these titles to show you that my tips work. Okay, this also applies for, oh, that suddenly got really bright, hang on. Okay, that's better. <laughs> this also applies for universities abroad. I don't know if I've ever said, but my first uni abroad was actually in the Netherlands, and I also use some of these tips to get my textbooks for cheap. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I've opened up Amazon and I'm going to use this to kind of show you the retail price to show you that these tips really work. Also, just as a side note, apologies if you can hear any drilling outside. There have been builders all day, so I've tried to delay this video as long as I can, but I do need to get it edited. So the first book that I am going to look at is Learning to Teach in the Primary School. So as you can see, we've got some different versions here. Let's go for the, the second oldest, 2014. Okay, so paperback is currently £28.80. Now, my first tip is to look on eBay to see if any other students or teachers are selling their books. So Learning to Teach in the Primary School. So as you can see, the other editions will come up as well. So I'll put, rather than best match, I'll put lowest price. Okay, so straight away, I'll just check this is the same edition. Okay, so same edition. This one is going for £1.90 with £3.70 delivery. It currently has zero bids, but four days left. So if you were to bid, then until somebody else bids you, you have automatically got it for that price. So that is a saving of £23.20 just on one book. My next tip, and this isn't something I can show you because I don't want to show people's information, but is to look on Facebook groups. So for teachers, for example, there is the Aspiring Teacher Forum. There are also individual groups for specific key stages or specific subjects in secondary. And I've seen plenty of posts either saying, does anyone have these for sale and people commenting, or people showing the books they have for sale and giving them at such amazing bargains because the teaching community is so supportive. My next tip is to look for things on Google Scholar or Google Books. So let's put teaching phonics in primary schools. Okay, so this one, teaching systematic synthetic phonics in primary schools. I have personally recommended that in the past. I still have it. I think it's an amazing book. However, if you go on to Google Books, let me just copy and paste this to make it go faster. There it is, top one. Let's go on to it. So obviously it's not gonna give you the whole thing, but as you can see, you've got all these chapters here and they often give you two, three, four, five, even more pages from each chapter. So let's go on to, no, chapter 11, tracking and assessment. So here you go. You can see a fair few of the pages already. And especially sometimes with books where you end up using a chapter or just using it for reference in assignments, this is such a good way to a, save paper, B, save money, 
and see, have it already online for you. I know some people work better reading on the computer screen anyway, so ta -da! So that would save you £18.30 or retail at £21.99. My next tip is making use of facilities available to you. So I know when it's the holiday before you start, you're kind of anxious and you want to get all the stuff ready, but actually if you just wait a little bit, you might go into the library at your university and see the books that you need there. Sometimes you might not be able to take them out, but you can already make reference to them and see if it's a useful purchase for you, or if you can borrow it out, brilliant. There is also the option sometimes to read ebooks online, or sometimes like my university, they allow you to download it for 24 hours and then it is automatically deleted. So you often don't need it long term. Making use of your university library, the online system that they have, and also public libraries. You might be surprised, I think teaching is quite specific, but if you're doing something like psychology or criminology or engineering, I can't think of any other subjects off the top of my head, <laughs> then you can often find things in your local library. Another tip I would give you is if you have access to a Kindle or your parents have access to a Kindle or somebody else does that you know and that you could borrow that Kindle off of, get Kindle books. They are normally cheaper or sometimes you can even get them for free. I was looking at Loon's Taxonomy the other day and I actually saw that there were so many Kindle editions for free so, for example, how to use Bloom's Taxonomy in the classroom. Kindle edition is free. Let's have a look a bit further down. Using Bloom's Taxonomy to write effective learning objectives. Kindle edition, free. Bloom's Digital Taxonomy, a reference guide for teachers. Kindle edition, free. <laughs> I think you're getting the gist now. But another thing that you can do is you could sign up to Prime Student as part of Amazon. So as a student, you get a six months free trial. It gives you 10% of all textbooks. And if it interests you, you can stream thousands of movies and TV shows while getting exclusive student offers. If you are interested in signing up for that, I do have a link down below. It is an affiliate link, which means it's no cost to you, but I will get a small thank you from Amazon for any signups. My last tip, and oh my goodness, I wish I knew this website ages ago. I only discovered this website when I was researching this video for you guys, but it is the website A Books. So for example, if we type in a book that was actually recommended to me earlier this week, How to Be an Outstanding Primary School Teacher by David Dunn. So let's have a look here. So retail, it is £16.99 and it is currently in sale for £13.70. Let's see if A Books can find us any better. So how to be an outstanding teacher, David Dunn, search. And also actually now that this has come up, this has given me another tip that I forgot to mention. So if you are being given the most recent textbooks, if you are being suggested the most recent textbooks, it's often the case that you could get away with previous editions. So older students might have older editions to sell you and older editions tend to be cheaper and often there's not much difference. If it's something that is constantly changing like technology or maybe computer science, I wouldn't maybe risk it. But if it's something related to mathematics in the primary school or if it's related to history, then unless it's like an exam board specific, I would go for the older edition just because it's cheaper. So here you can see that there's an older edition here, but let's see if we can find the edition that we just saw on Amazon. Um, these are sold secondhand, so people, a bit like eBay, can choose what they list it as, so it's always good to look around a little bit. Buy used, £9.26, and shipping is £2.75. So that saves you just around £5 if you went from the retail price. However, if this was a book that was maybe 20 or high 20s price, then you could be saving 10, 15 pounds. Okay, so that is it for my video. I hope you found that useful and I hope you save a lot of money using those tips. If you do, please leave me a comment down below telling me how much you saved and what method you used to save with because I don't know, I just love finding a bargain and I love helping others find bargains too. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more teaching content in future. Bye.